Welcome to Science Easy Tech Channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about call Pearson coefficient of correlation example sums part 2. Already I have posted two videos on call Pearson coefficient of correlation. If you have not watched that video, I have given the link in description box, suggested end card and I card. This video will be useful for BSc nursing students, post basic BSc nursing students as well as students who are studying MSc nursing. Before moving on to the topic, if you are new to Science Easy Tech Channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates let's move on to the topic so calculate call Pearson coefficient of correlation between hours of daily study and the marks obtained by seven students hours of study they have given one two three four five six and seven that is one hour two hour three hour four hour five hour six hour and seven hours marks obtained for one hour it is 40 for two hours it is 48 for three hours it is 50 for four hours it is 57 for five hours it is 66 for six hours it is 72 and for seven hours it is 87 so the call Pearson correlation coefficient formula R is equal to sigma x minus x bar into y minus y bar divided by square root of sigma x minus x bar whole square into square root of sigma y minus y bar whole square where x bar is equal to mean of x variable y bar is equal to mean of y variable so x bar is equal to mean of x variable and y bar is equal to mean of y variable so x so x what you have to do you have to uh, write all the values which has been given in hours of study 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and why what you have to do you have to write all the values which has been given in marks obtained 40 48 50 57 66 72 87 then you have to find out x bar how you will be finding x bar add all the x values and divide it by n n how many values they have given yes seven values they have given one two three four five six seven so seven values they have given so when you are adding everything you will be getting sigma x so what is sigma x sigma x is 28 so next what you have to do x bar is equal to sigma x divided by n so what is uh, x bar so x bar is um, 28 by 7 which is equal to 4 then what is uh, y bar y bar is you have to add all the y values 40 plus 48 plus 50 plus 57 plus 66 plus 72 plus 87 when you are adding everything you will be getting 420 so 420 what is n n value is 7 so 420 so this is your sigma y so 420 divided by 7 which is 60 so your x bar is 4 and your y bar is 60 so next what uh, you have to do you have to subtract x values from x bar so x values from x bar so 1 minus uh, 4 is equal to minus 3 okay 1 minus 4 is equal to minus 3 2 minus 4 is equal to minus 2 3 minus 4 is equal to minus 1 4 minus 4 0 5 minus 4 1 6 minus uh, uh, 4 2 7 minus 4 3 okay so now you got all x minus x bar values then y minus y bar 40 minus 60 is minus 20 48 minus 60 minus 12 50 minus 60 minus 10 57 minus 60 minus 3 66 minus 66 72 minus 60 12 87 minus 60 27 okay so now what you have done you have found out y minus y bar then what you have to find out you have to find out x minus x bar whole square so square all the x minus x bar values so minus 3 square 9 minus 2 square 4 so minus into minus plus no so i am putting plus 4 minus 1 into minus 1 plus 1 0 into 0 0 1 into 1 1 
2 into 2, 4. 3 into 3, 9. So, you have found out all the uh, values of x minus x bar whole square. Then what you have to found? You have to found y minus y bar whole square. So, before finding out y minus y bar whole square, what you have to do? You have to find out x minus x bar whole square summation. So, summation of x minus x bar whole square add all the x minus x bar whole square values 9 plus 4 plus 1 plus 0 plus 1 plus 4 plus 9 when you are adding all these things you will be getting sigma x minus x bar whole square sigma x minus x bar whole square sigma x minus x bar whole square so when you are getting this sigma x minus x bar whole square by adding all these things the value is 28 the value is 28 next you have to square y minus y bar whole square minus 20 square is 400 minus 12 square is 144 minus 10 square is 100 minus 3 square is 9 6 square is 36 12 square is 144 27 square is 729 then same thing to find out sigma y minus y bar whole square what you have to do add all the y values 400 plus 144 plus 100 plus 9 plus 36 plus 144 plus 729 when you are adding all the thing you will be getting 1562 that 1562 is sigma y minus y bar whole square Okay, so next to what you have to found out, you have to found out x minus x bar into y minus y bar, multiply it. So, minus 3 into minus 20 is plus 60, minus 2 into minus 12 is plus 24, minus 1 into minus 10 is plus 10, 0 into minus 3 is 0, 1 into 6 is 6. 2 into 12 is 24, 3 into 27 is 81. So now you have found out x minus x bar into y minus y bar. So after finding this, what you have to do? Yes, you have to uh, add all the x minus x bar into y minus y bar values so add all the x minus x bar values into y minus y bar values so 8 60 plus 24 plus 10 plus 0 plus 6 plus 24 plus 81 so when you are adding all these things you will be getting sigma x minus x bar into y minus y bar so you will be getting what sigma x minus x bar into y minus y bar so add 60 plus 24 plus 10 plus 0 plus 6 plus 24 plus 81 which is equal to what 205 so this 205 is nothing but sigma x minus x bar into y minus y bar so next to what you have to do yes you have to substitute the values in the formula. So, what is the formula? The formula is sigma x minus x bar into y minus y bar divided by square root of sigma x minus x bar whole square into sigma y minus y bar whole square. So, what you have to do R is equal to what is uh, the numerator? So, from the calculation, you know that sigma x minus x bar into y minus y bar is 205. So, take that value and substitute in the formula. Take that value and substitute in the formula. So, 205 divided by what is sigma x minus x bar whole square? Yes, it is 28 into square root of sigma y minus y bar whole square what it is 1562 square root of 1562 so r is equal to 205 divided by square root of 28 into square root of 1562 next which is equal to 205 divided by 5.29 square root of 28 is what 5.29 square root of 1562 is 39 point 
ஃபைவ் டூ ஸோ டூ நாட் ஃபைவ் டிவைடட் பை ஸ்கொயர் ரூட் ஆஃப் டுவெண்ட்டி எயிட் இஸ் ஃபைவ் பாயிண்ட் டூ நைன் ஸ்கொயர் ரூட் ஆஃப் ஒன் ஃபைவ் சிக்ஸ் டூ இஸ் தேர்ட்டி நைன் பாயிண்ட் ஃபைவ் டூ விச் இஸ் ஈக்வல் டு டூ நாட் ஃபைவ் டிவைடட் பை ஃபைவ் பாயிண்ட் டூ ஃபைவ் இன்டூ தேர்ட்டி நைன் பாயிண்ட் ஃபைவ் டூ த ஆன்சர் இஸ் டூ நாட் நைன் பாயிண்ட் ஜீரோ சிக்ஸ் ஸோ வென் யூஆர் டிவைடிங் டூ நாட் ஃபைவ் டிவைடட் பை டூ நாட் நைன் பாயிண்ட் ஜீரோ சிக்ஸ் த ஆன்சர் இஸ் ஜீரோ பாயிண்ட் நைன் எயிட் ஸோ யுவர் ஆர் வேல்யூ இஸ் வாட் ஜீரோ பாயிண்ட் நைன் எயிட் ஸோ நாவ் யூ ஷுட் நோ தட் த ஆர் வேல்யூ இஸ் ஜீரோ பாயிண்ட் நைன் எயிட் ஸோ வாட் வீ கேன் கன்க்ளூட் ஸோ வீ கேன் கன்க்ளூட் தட் தெர் இஸ் எ ஸ்ட்ராங் பாசிட்டிவ் கோரிலேஷன் பிட்வீன் அவர்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஸ்டடி அண்ட் த மார்க்ஸ் ஸ்கோர்ட் பை த ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ஆஸ் அவர்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஸ்டடி இன்க்ரீசஸ் மார்க்ஸ் ஸ்கோர்ட் பை த ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ஆல்சோ இன்க்ரீசஸ் ஸோ தெர் இஸ் எ ஸ்ட்ராங் பாசிட்டிவ் கோரிலேஷன் பிட்வீன் அவர்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஸ்டடி அண்ட் த மார்க்ஸ் ஆஃப் டைம் பை த ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் hope this video is clear for you all if you still have any doubts please feel free to free to post your doubts in comment section if you like my video please give me a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel my previous videos link i have given in description box such as study and card and i card or you can watch our channel playlist for more nursing related videos thank you friends keep supporting to science easy tech channel